I want you guys to know if you go look at the last uh, episode that me and Munchie did in the black box, his level of energy was quite mm, uh, mm, mm, mm. correlated to the amount of liquor that was left in that vessel. So I think, you know, we pace ourselves. But you didn't, I'm, I'm gonna let you know this, even though you um, did more than you wanted to do, you didn't get out of character, homie. You still remain G, homie. Man. You I, had a little much more more fun than you intended to have, but you didn't do nothing I, goofy or nothing, homie. I, oh, mama, mama, mama. Even but, when you mentioned CKY, I was not offended. On hold on, that wasn't on there though. But, yeah, it was. That was on a phone conversation. No, that's what the phone conversation was like sparked about. Uh, yeah. Hey man. I, yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying, just just so you know, none of that was offensive in the course of the conversation, the way it was brought up. Huh. That's why I said it so clearly and cleanly at the moment. You dig a lot. Don't get stuck on that because this is your interview. My bad. Uh, I, 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 and I'm, 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 I'm gonna go back to that. But uh, yeah, <laughs> he, he, he suggested. I'm like, yeah, I'm, off, I'm out the cut from now. I usually do that when I'm over here anyway. But then Me I too. get the venturing out, and I get to grabbing a bottle, and I get to feeling myself a little too much. So I'm, uh, you know, I gotta keep it professional. But it's a dual reason. Out. It's a dual reason. It's not really because of his behavior. I realized that the content has been age restricted every time he's been in the black box. Oh, everything. And first we thought it was because of the viral incident. Shout out to Tania, shout out to Rini Lope. Um, but once this next episode hit the, um, got the age restrictions, it was easy to realize the thing that they had in common was, was the, the bottle. bottle. Yeah. And I ain't even paying me. Shout out to Deer Juice though. That shit was fire. It do get yeah. it done. Hey, hey, y'all need to pay. <laughs> yeah, put it on it, the table. Run it, cause I held on to it, you know what I'm Hey, yeah, tell hey, if if maybe because you know what our production department has reached out to me at certain times and asked me about certain people we might want to go after for some type of ads, all that. Mm -hmm. Hey, two A's, you might want to tap that in. You hear me? Case of doors. Yeah, you feel me? Go on, go on, go on, tap in on tap out. Yeah, but based on that 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 last uh black box, uh pull up. You know what I'm saying? When I pulled around there, messing with my bro. I call Rennie Luck on my own time. I said, I apologize. I said, man, you stop something like, no, 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 no. Cause man, I, I went a little to the, you know what I'm saying? But she she she, she told me I, I ain't gotta keep apologizing to chick, but nah, you know, I, I apologize to, to the Rennie Luck, you know what I'm saying? You know what? I wanna throw an apology to her too, because just based on some of the things we discussed after all that uh, interaction, she came back on the platform. And that's not, I'm not talking about when her and Tania was there. She came back on just on the live stream. Mm. And in that the night that you're referring to, and we got real loose the way we addressed her, and she made me aware that she's really interested and invested in presenting a whole nother side of herself online, like we both are as well. And just because her name is Rennie Loke, and we know if a dead homie's dead homies, it's a lot more to her. She's a mother, and she's just trying to like clean up the way she presents herself online. And she didn't like some of the questions or statements we made toward her direction. So I want to apologize to her too. Hey, but see, what well, people gotta understand, uh, especially when you're a comedian, it be kind of hard to, uh, uh, maybe for you to turn it on and off. But when when the people that's that's like fans of you are watching from the outside looking in, when they addressing you or whatever, they still looking at you like you in performance mode, entertainment mode. You know what I'm saying? And so, when, on that note, when I heard you discuss this off camera, you said that her type of humor and your um opinion is dark so dark even, humor, even right. more so we would think that she would have a a perspective of oh they just fucking with me but i want i'm here to let you know that there's levels and layers to things and there's also levels and layers to the comedian Rini low and she didn't appreciate some of the energy and i just want to respect that on her behalf and let her speak for herself even as a comedian from this point forward i'm gonna watch more of her direction and when i address her i'm gonna try to be in line with that I'm going to give her that respect. I'm going to try to. You still the homegirl, though, so you know how this shit go to some degree. But I do feel where you're coming from. Shout out to Lady Locke from Santana because we kind of I was at, at a round table and the perspective was just shared. Lock, lock. Yeah, lock, lock to the homegirl. Hey, but see, I, I, I haven't watched uh, Rick Rock content. I'm going to tap spoke in. I to Rick Rock this morning, too. Shout out to Rick Rock. Oh, he crispy clean. I'm, I'm going to tap in, but see, but, but when it be these, these street people, that become comedians and like you could easily offend them. You right. You know what I'm saying? Faze Our Love has been walking that fine line a couple of times I saw. Shout out to Faze Our Love. 
Um, but yeah, it happens. It happens. Yeah. But as I far see, as me, I'm see Bosco. See, my whole see. relationship with Bosco was tested for years before we became partners, based on him being a gangster comedian and playing with somebody else that the world considers a gangster. And it's part, I remember my first when it, when it first started going bad, I tapped into Fig Newton. I'm like, "Hey, you fuck with Bosco?" And his response was like, "Yeah, that's the homie." And then when I got at him about what my issue was, he was like, oh, you know, that's what he do. He get at everybody. And it was like, damn, that ain't how it's going to go in the yard. If I was hitting laps, walking past the Don Moves, can't, I would have to have a relationship with a nigga if he finna shoot across to me walking laps and crack a joke on me. Right or wrong? Once you hit the hit the yard, you're not a comedian no more. You got to leave that till you get back to R&R &R and you getting released again. So that's the difference. But no, niggas shoot jokes on the yard. You got your funny nigga. Shout out to Rory for Kelly Park. If y'all good like that. But though. that's what I'm saying. But I'm talking about exactly. But that's how Don, me and Bosco basically met online, him shooting jokes at me. That's why it was hard for me to accept to a certain degree after he kept going. We over it. I'm not trying to rehatch it. But comedians, I'm just trying to make the point that comedians that live, that are from the culture, they walk a fine line. You, you are definitely correct. I agree with you. Hey, but see, man, as far as me, I could take a joke because I'm from a hood. You come, I don't care if you Dougie Fresh from head to toe. They, the homies gonna find something so, wrong with you. Something to bag up. Like, damn. East side. That's East Side so, shit. So, too. I, I, I could take a joke. Long as you ain't talking, don't call me Zesty. Because I, 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 uh, I witness he, he was talking to uh, D Dub. Uh, D Dub, and he was telling. Shout out to the homie. He said, They resolved that, right? He said, I didn't call you gay, I called you Zesty. And then D Dub was like, What's the difference? What's the I difference, Bosco? We, yeah, so yeah, so that. that's the same to me, bro. It is. Uh, long but as that's, it ain't, that's that's still him being a comedian. Yeah, but I'm playing but, it all the way out. I, I'm gonna laugh back or shoot a joke back at anything except for uh, gay jokes and uh, snitching. You know what I'm saying? Outside of that, I could take it. I'm cool. Right. I, I, I mean, I'm everybody good. had a perimeter. I think a lot of times it's less in the details and more in the energy and the intention. It's kind of like when the females in the bitch word. You feel me? Uh, it's one thing to say, get your ass up, bitch, and go, let's go get a drink. Mm -hmm. It's nothing to say, bitch, I don't fuck with you, dirty bitch. It's like, it's just a whole another connotation. You know what I'm saying? Even with um, you hearing one of us say, nah, nigga, I ain't going for that. And then you hear somebody of another pigmentation say, no, nah, nigga, I ain't going for that. Hmm. You feel me? Just... The intention behind words, I think a lot of time, a lot more important than the word itself.